is what does chernobyl taught today's nuclear scientists what did what did chernobyl teach today's nuclear scientists see chernobyl was an engineering accident it was not a nuclear physics accident see when when let's say you have a vehicle you've got a car and the engine explodes for some, for whatever reason is that a physics accident or is that an engineering accident who who will you call a physicist to come and fix it or will you call a car mechanic to fix it engineering is applied physics a nuclear reactor is an engineering problem it's not a physics problem okay of course th that is very high cutting edge engineering which means that you will have physicists who are available in a nuclear reactor to look at various parameters and all that the question is what did chernobyl teach you it taught that it taught nuclear engineers nuclear reactor engineers that you need to have very high standards of safety you cannot have a uh, laxity of standards you cannot uh, cut corners uh, you need to have redundancy and safeguards and all that so the reason what was the reason why this happened there was a series of escalating failures and these failures were detected but they were disregarded right and the engineering the design of the reactor itself had some issues so all of that is what caused the catastrophe it was a series of events that put together led to a, a situation where the where the reactor had no exp, uh, had no choice but to explode uh so the lesson to be learned is that don't make those engineering mistakes and the reactor safety design has the reactor safety standards have to be improved and the soviet union learned from that russia has learned from that you have not seen a, a single accident in russia after that or the ussr uh, you had some nuclear accidents after that fukushima was a great example a terrible example actually what 2011 but there was nothing to do with uh, the, the kind of thing that happened in chernobyl that was because of the earthquake and the and the and the tsunami so chernobyl teaches you that you have to be really serious about your safety standards and you need to have well trained staff who will recognize the earliest signs of danger and shut the goddamn thing down